Happy Memorial Day! It shouldn't be happy, but, um... <laughs> in memory of I'm all grateful, the fallen, like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's that's why I say, you know, I'm I'm grateful. So it's a day of remembrance, and we are remembering. Anyway, now that you yeehawed us into this, um, I'm. This is a uh, Bud Light seltzer hat that I got at Walmart. It's made out of Some cardboard. Good old. Ow. Um, it's pretty neat. Uh, we are not doing a Bud Light Seltzer review, Crossover. but we do have a beautiful pack that looked similar to this. So if I keep my head like this, it looks kind of kind of the same. Um, so we actually have a Truly pack today. Oh, welcome to you. Seltzer Reviews with Kaylee and Chris. Sorry. We keep fucking you that know up. what this is. We keep fucking that up. You came here. You're here. Here we are. Um, so we have. Sorry, we have the truly pull side pack. So today we have strawberry melon fizz, orange peach fizz, kiwi mojito style, pina colada style. Let me just start off by saying, look how pretty the cans look. Well, at least the box. We'll open it up in a second. But I don't think that I'm gonna love Kiwi Mojito. Looks, like looks like a tropical storm. Oh, well, it's poolside. So, we're having a tropical storm poolside. Seems like a very Floridian, California type helio. You could have went with any better place Florida. in California. Florida! Okay. So I don't think I'm going to like Kiwi Mojito that much because I don't really like mint. And I'm not sure if I'm going to like Pina Colada because I'm kind of iffy about Pina Colada. Pina Coladas. But. A lot brighter. Look how pretty. So pretty. What's that one? It contains alcohol. Floaty's not included. I hope nobody is spit in our drinks. Those kind of floaties. <laughs> so the cans are really pretty. I feel like Truly never disappoints on their cans. On their cans. They've had some strange packs. But, can I wear this the whole time? Why not? Why the fuck not? So, look at that. Oh my gosh. Nutritional facts. Look it, I got a bag of seltzers with nutritional facts on them. They Chris heard doesn't think. our reviews no. and they started putting We it bought on. these before. We got these at Walmart. So look at your local Walmart. Um, we do need to try and hit up some actual I'll liquor get stores. To it. I'll get to it. Or people keep saying Kroger. No. I call it Kroger's. It's fries in Arizona. But they have like a whole big alcohol section. I like, I like buying hole in the walls. Well, we don't go there and they have cool stuff, so... Okay. I'll, I'll make a trip there. Okay. Um, so... Orange Peach Fizz. We're just gonna try them this way and then rate them this way. That's what we've been doing, kinda. Oh, do you want to read nutritional facts? No. You're so good at that. It's all the same. It's not. 100 calories. 5% alcohol. That is always the same. 2 carbs, which is a little more than usual. But, I feel like they have juice in them. Yeah. <laughs> You're being loud. Gluten free. Always One gram of sugar. One gram of sugar. So not bad. Overall not bad. Less than 2%. Oh, do we want to do this? Oh, and it has stevia sweetener. So, so you'll better get... Than fucking regular sugar. I think stevia is supposed to cause Alzheimer's, which everything causes Alzheimer's, so it's fine. Um, so do they all say the same thing? No. How chill. Floaties not included. Best. Served. Oh. That looks like a I in the backwards J. It doesn't look like it says serve. So this one says dies into Fleischer. You know. 
<laughs> dive. <laughs> I was like, into why would flavor. it say that? Dive into flavor. I love Truly. Truly won't sponsor us because they hate us, but they hate us because they ain't us. Because I tell the fucking truth about their shit. Whatever. Uh. I usually enjoy Truly. I feel like the lighting is always weird in here, but it's fine. We got to get better lighting. But yeehaw to that. Um, since we did this the last, what, two episodes, we'll just do this again because it's a little bit fun. We've had a couple drinks today. I don't think um, we're... <laughs> oh. I've started one. Oh, we should have taken a shot before. Pour one out for the homies. Zero! Mine's probably actually a zero. I did, uh chug one of those Hornitos seltzers like what 20 minutes ago yeah it seems like we drink a lot but they actually sit in our fridge for quite some time yeah I actually that little thing is full his little fridge is full they're just full we're just we got seltzers everywhere trying to be responsible drunk we drink like two days a week so we gotta we gotta chug them when we can I'm just kidding I go back to work tomorrow, start my new job, so we're excited about that. I will... 0 0.08. What the fuck? You must have just taken a drink. We'll see how it is at the end. You must have just taken a drink. But I start my new job tomorrow. I'm not telling you where it's at, because I'm not allowed to talk about it. <laughs> In the AIDS. <laughs> but I will... Probably like share with you guys like the grossest thing that I see every week. That'll be fun. Um, but other than that, like, yeah, I'll just tell you a little bit here and there. But I won't like go into the super depth because I'm not allowed to. Yeehaw, my dudes. Should have taken a shot. Pour one out for the homies. No? Where's my cup? Oh, I don't have my cup today. You don't need a shot glass. I don't. I like drinking them at the same What's time. What's this? It has ice in it. No, it's kind of dirty. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. All right, let's start it off. I was like, oh, did I push play? I was wondering why our episodes are always like 45 minutes long. This is why, because we talk for 10 minutes. Um, so let's try pina colada style first. I think that I'm going to like this the least. It smells like a pina colada. Fuck that up. Why? Why? 45 degrees one. The fears. Okay. Cheers. Very pina colada -y. Yeah. It's not bad. I think they had. Tucker get. At some point, a different coconut pina colada flavor. I, it just tastes like a, a pre-mixed pina colada. Which, those aren't that bad. I don't know. It doesn't taste like alcohol. My mom used to make me virgin pina coladas when I was a young lad. Explains a lot. Why? I didn't drink until I was 21. And now you're 41. <laughs> Not 41. What is this? Orange peach fizz i'm not sure i like peach very much but i which one did we just taste oh the vibes the peach punch was really good but it smells light i feel like it's mostly gonna be peach but i hope it's more citrusy lacking flavor maybe it's not a good mix of flavor but it's very not. artificial i think but it's not bad. I don't hate it. I usually don't like peach that much, but it's not bad. I don't know. Ah. I feel like they just drown each other out in that. Yeah. They're both very strong flavors. Citrus and peach. Oh, please be good. Strawberry watermelon or strawberry melon fizz, but it's obviously strawberry watermelon. Rubber. I'm really excited. How chill. <coughs> oh my god. Why? Every time, got a little child ghost. Oh, what's that? Boogers. Probably. Don't drink it. You see it? A little floater. Look, floaties are included. Floaties not 
you a piece of the box. Trying to drug me again. At home, it's fine. So far, Ooh, they all pretty good. much have the same nutritional values. I think they try to make... Zero fat, 40 m sodium, two carbs, one sugar. That's all the same. Yeah. I think these packs, they usually try and make them the same. But like packs like the specialty packs, like the newer stuff like that, I feel like they sometimes they fluctuate based on the flavors. Which leads me to believe that they add actual flavors in those ones, not these ones. That was good. That was refreshing. Yeah. And it tastes like a kiwi. Oh, no, this one's kiwi. But this one tastes like a kiwi. I taste, mm, I taste a little bit more strawberry than watermelon. That's pretty good. But I like that. I'm actually really glad that they didn't do mint in it. Because I feel like they usually do like watermelon mojito or strawberry. You know what I mean? And I actually really like that. Because I'm not a, not a fan of mint that much. Okay. <gasps> okay, let's see. Kiwi mojito style. Do you want to rate them so far? Kind of be in that order, yeah. Like 1 to 10. Oh. 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 Yeah, I'll do it after. Okay. Gotta take more sips then, I guess. Okay, is that good? Good enough? I feel like it's just sticking to my mouth, though, so it's unappealing. Well, maybe it's something else that you drank or ate. I didn't eat anything. I had cereal for breakfast. That smells like mint. Very light, though. Brushing my teeth. Very tainted mint taste. Jesus Christ. That's uh, weird. That doesn't taste like kiwi. That yeah. one tastes like kiwi mixed, like those flavors mixed together in it. This one tastes, tastes like, like toothpaste. Tastes like. Oh, yeah. It's just like a mint taste to it. Ugh. But it's not like. It's not like that sharp mint taste. It's like an actual leaf of mint. It's like I put a little bit of mouthwash in my drink and just drank it. Disappointing. Yeah. Well, I think, hmm, I think this one was my favorite. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty good. I'll give that one like an eight just because it lacks the flavor of uh, me, either the watermelon or the strawberry. Yeah. 8 out of 10. Hmm. Did we rate the Hornitos like that? Yes. Uh, Jimmy, god damn. I think I'm going to do this one second. Makes sense. So I'd say 8 out of 10. Seven and a half, six, I guess. No, seven. We'll say seven. This one. Uh, despite the fact of the, despite the fact and dislike, no, that doesn't make sense. Despite the dislike of pina, pina colada. colada, it's pretty it flavorful pretty and, and tasteful. So. Yeah. I think that's. So this is. 8 out of 10, 8 and a half out of 10 maybe. This is a 7, this is, uh, I don't know, I'd say, let's give it a 6, because I don't use like pina colada, and I kind of like this one. And then this one is, I i don't even want to give it a 3, but I'll give it a 3, because I don't want to be mean. <laughs> it's not that tasteful. No one's, uh, Which one? The, the whole pack? The mojito one. This one, it's, it's so minty. It, that's all I taste. Yeah, it's not. It's not that good. Very, very low end on that one. You drink it if you drink it because you buy the pack. But yeah, we're going to have to drink these unless someone wants to freaking... Eight. Wants to aid us in drinking them. What do you say? Eight? I don't know. <laughs> this one's weird. 
This one's weird. It's not bad though. It's just you can't really dis discern the flavors. It's like a tangerine. It like not it. like a tangerine. Almost like a tangerine, I guess. Like an orange? I made this shirt if anyone wants one. It says, Daryl says, cheers, bitches. I'm going to have to put the, the pina colada one second. I was kind of, I was a, in between. A Just because it, it is flavorful and what it's supposed to be. And then this one, I'll give it a four. And then this one, like a two. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, Not oh my gotten. God. Yeah, which is really disappointing because, like I said, I always, I always like Truly. Truly never disappoints. I said on their packaging, and that's not a lie. Look how beautiful this packaging is. That's what you said about me too. <laughs> Self burn. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so is that it? Did we want to do another one? Uh, we might come back with another one. We might come back with another one. Do we want to do this? I don't this think enough is, time has elapsed. This is the Memorial Day episode, but just a heads up, they're going to be out of order. Why? Because you haven't posted the Hoarding Ethos one. Yeah, yeah, but I'll just post those ones first. So It'll you just get all be like posted tonight. It might be a quadruple whammy because we might do another yeah. one tonight. Or in a little yeah. bit for lunch. Or maybe we'll, we'll send this one out. Or maybe we'll send this one out today and then send the other ones out like Wednesday or Thursday. Listen to something to the week, you know, being close to the weekend. All they have to do is listen to them. Not all at the same time. If anyone wants any shirts, I am still doing shirts. PI Printing and Co. I will make you a Dear Old shirt. Dear Old's over there hanging out. He will be wearing this hat later and i will be he's getting a little toasty wearing the liquid iv beanie yeah, we are still sponsored by liquid iv so use code seltzer for 20 percent off your entire is it 20 or 25 percent off i feel like it's 25 percent off for 25 percent off your entire order or 20 either way it's great um also we are sponsored by pretty litter so use cold cold Code Seltzer20 for 20% off your first order. Let me tell you, that stuff works. Yes. We, uh, we put in last week and we had a very busy weekend. And unable to get to that litter box over the weekend. And I mean, you, you don't have the smell of shit and piss. Like it's, it, it actually works really well. So I'll give that a thumbs up on that. Well, it does have... Um, yep. Crystals. Crystals. The crystals, they absorb the urine. So you're only scooping poop. So yeah. that's great. Um, like he said, sometimes we don't get to it every day. But it works best if you scoop every day. Um, the crystals also detect issues in your cat's urine. So as it's absorbing it, it will change colors. So if they have a UTI or any blood in their urine, it will change different colors. And in the pack that you get, or in the box that you get with your Pretty Litter monthly or every other month, depending on how many cats you have, um, it has a pH level guide that shows you like what issues you your cat may be having. So you can always take that to your vet and say, my cat has bright green urine. What is wrong with my cat? And then you don't have to pay thousands of dollars for all these tests for them to figure it out. You just have to pay for this one test because you have lime green cat pee. You take the litter in there and <laughs> bam. This is what color my cat's pee. This is what color my cat's pee is. Look, it truly is good for something. <laughs> um, so yeah, use code... <laughs> Yeah, discerning cat urine. Uh, use code SELTZER20 for 20% off your first purchase from Pretty Litter. Cheers, bitches. Cheers.